to the North Bay, they also experienced rain this morning. And it clogged storm drains and saturated the ground there. ABC 7 News reporter Nick Smith live in Tiburon with more. Nick. Eric, Mike says the worst has passed and now there's only light drizzle. That's not making the folks here feel any better. It's scary. Every time we rain this much and it doesn't stop for a couple of days, you know, it gets scary. The rain is coming down, but to understand why some get nervous, just ask Myra Canales. The water was up to my ankles. It was really bad. The watermark on her shop window three days later, a reminder of the damage floodwaters can leave behind. 19 inches here in the front area, and I had about 20 inches inside, 20, 22 inches inside my office. And she wasn't the only one to find herself wading through water. For some, the flooding was so bad it forced them to close their doors. Blinds and Designs has closed up shop and shifted their orders to their San Francisco office. And with only six days before Christmas, Santa won't be picking up any goodies for the boys and girls at this UPS store. Flood damage forced this owner to pack up, leaving only a sign behind. Around the corner at Olympic Physical Therapy and Aquatics, Jeff Harband is working through the damage and remains open for business. He's had to replace about eight inches of drywall, will need new carpeting, and a computer, all because of flood water. It was about two or three inches. Yeah, and it was a it was a pain to clean it up. But now, as he and the others watch the rain coming down, they're prepared. Crews are using blowers to clear away anything that may clog a drain. Sandbags sit by every door, and this massive pump stands at the ready, prepared to be fired up if needed. Still, Myra and her team aren't taking any chances. Every night after we close, sandbags. We never know what's going to happen more overnight. So until that storm passes, we expect to see more of these blocking doorways. In Tiburon, Nick Smith, ABC 7 News. All right, Nick, thanks.